The Last Starfighter, the 80s cult classic that beautifully mixed elements of video games, space operas, and the Arthurian legend, is now getting a big screen sequel after nearly 40 years. The 1984 film, written by Jonathan R. Betuel and directed by Nick Castle, told the story of Alex Rogan, played by Lance Guest, an average teen who was recruited to fight in a real interstellar war after achieving the highest score in his Trailer Park's arcade video game. The game's creator, Centauri, was famously portrayed by Robert Preston in what would turn out to be his last theatrical role. After Preston's casting, the screenplay was rewritten to be a nod to the actor's most famous character as Professor Harold Hill in The Music Man. His memorable performance, as well as the chemistry between the characters of Alex and Maggie, are just some of the reasons why the film has become so popular over the years. Along with Tron, The Last Starfighter was also one of the earliest films to make extensive use of computer-generated imagery. It was groundbreaking for cinema, However, it was very costly, making up $14 million of the film's $15 million budget. Returns at the box office were very meager, and the film essentially didn't make any money. Though it wasn't a financial success, it has since stood the test of time as a beloved cult classic in cinematic history, with a special place in the hearts of sci-fi fans and gamers. News that another last Starfighter project was in development broke in April of 2018. Book of Eli and Rogue One A Star Wars Story screenwriter Gary Wooda revealed on Twitter that he was working with the writer of the original film, Jonathan Betuel. In his Twitter post, he also included several images of concept art depicting the iconic ships from the original film and created by Rogue One lead concept artist Matt Alsop. io9 then reached out to Gary Wooda to learn more about his plans for this classic sci-fi property. In regards to the original film, he said, It's always been one of my all-time favorites. It is a deeply special movie for me. In terms of movies that stirred my imagination as a kid, it's right up there with Star Wars. As to why it's taken nearly 40 years for the sequel to get underway, part of it had to do with the rights for the IP. Jonathan Betuel went through quite an ordeal that ended up taking years just to recapture the rights for his creation. This process was just recently completed, and now any project involving The Last Starfighter must have Jonathan's participation. In Witta's original Twitter post confirming his collaboration with Betuel, he also tagged Seth Rogen. Witta mentioned he tried to secure the rights to the IP at one point, and this is something they've continued to chat on Twitter about. He also mentioned to io9 that Rogen's a fan as well and that he'd make a fantastic Centauri. Over the years, it was rumored that everyone in Hollywood, including Steven Spielberg, tried to get a remake or sequel made. The secret ingredient was Jonathan. He has a deep attachment to his brainchild, and it seems above all, he wants to make sure the next installment honors the legacy of the original. He wants to continue the story, but he wants it done right. In regards to this new collaboration between Witta and Betuel, Gary also revealed to io9 that once he tracked Jonathan down and was done pestering him with all his fanboy questions, they started to talk about what a new version might look like. He said, quote, Since then, we've spent so many hours working on it. I've long since lost count, but right now we have a fully developed story that is a combination of reboot and sequel that we both think honors the legacy of the original film while passing the torch to a new generation. We're both very excited about it creatively. It is definitely a passion project for Betuel and Witta both. That passion evidently has driven them to keep working to make this new project a reality, despite a long and complicated development process. Gary touched on this some more in his interview, saying, quote, We've had a lot of talks with Universal. We're determined one way or another to make this happen. Trying to create in Hollywood is always like pushing a boulder uphill, particularly when there are archaic rights issues involved, but we're going to keep trying. That's the lesson of Starfighter. When you get your chance, you've got to grab it with both hands and hold on tight. It's been a couple years since we last heard about this project. More recently, in October of 2020, Jonathan Betuel talked about its status in an interview with Movie Hole. He confirmed that it was looking like they were close to making a deal to get production started, 
and while it hasn't been officially greenlit, the hurdles of the rights issues in regards to being able to develop this new film have been cleared. There were also rumors circulating that this new sequel might end up being in the form of a series. Jonathan addressed this and said that it will indeed be coming to the big screen. He said, quote, This is a movie with all the bells and whistles, and it won't presuppose that you've seen the original film. There'll be references here and there, but it'll carry the saga forward. With the intention of it being a movie with a fairly big budget, I presume, it will be important for this film to attract the loyal fan base that has developed over the years, as well as general audiences that are not very familiar with this property. Regarding what we can expect to see from this new story, Jonathan said, quote, The leads are now parents, and time has passed. It's not a remake, it's going to continue the story. What's changed is time itself. Certainly, as the video world and the alien world have continued to tick away, it's not a time capsule of the 80s by any means. We're taking it to the next level, passing the torch, or the joystick. Fans of the original, I'm sure, are glad that this will indeed be a continuation of the story, and not another reboot. This does seem to resemble in spirit what was done with Tron Legacy, and more recently, Bill and Ted Face the Music. These were both properties that were cult classics which were revisited years later in the form of sequels that continued the original character's stories while also introducing the next generation. Both sequels included the offspring of the legacy characters that were handed the torch, so to speak. In regards to whether it can appeal to general audiences, this property seems more relevant now than ever and is ripe to be introduced to a whole new generation. The presence of video game elements in film have continued to grow as gaming itself has gained mass appeal. It'll be interesting to see how this will be presented in this new installment. Certainly audiences are much more familiar now, not only with film adaptations of video games, but more recently, incorporation of video games themselves as part of the film's plot. The Tron films, Wreck-It Ralph, Ready Player One, the new Jumanji films, as well as the upcoming Free Guy, just to name a few. Picking up a story after a long period of time has passed certainly presents unique challenges, but if done right, this could prove to be a winning recipe for The Last Starfighter as well. It is definitely a plus that the original writer is involved in this new project, and with the advancements made in CGI throughout the years, they certainly will have an easier time of bringing their vision for this film to life on the big screen. But CGI will only do so much for this new installment, and oftentimes, it soon can appear outdated. What has proven to stand the test of time is the story, the relatable hero's journey, and the relationship between the characters. Special effects are just the icing on the cake. Jonathan Betuel said it best when he said, People still dream. People still long to be a hero in their own life and to those they love, whether their methodology is the same or different. The material everyone has in terms of wanting to do more in life and do more for others, I think is the story that fuels many movies. It has from the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy content. This project is still in very early stages, but I'll be sure to keep you up to date with any new developments. And let me know in the comments what you think about this new installment in the Last Starfighter universe. Are there any other classic films you would like to see the story continued or rebooted? Let me know. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.